And back to our top story now, the first papal visit to Canada in 20 years. This will be a significant one. Today, Pope Francis is expected to apologize for the church's role in the residential school system, marking an important first step toward reconciliation. Among those in attendance today will be Saul Mamakwa, Ontario's NDP deputy leader and critic for Indigenous and Treaty Relations, joining me now live from Edmonton. Good morning to you, Saul. Good morning, Melody Jebag. Thanks for having me, Melody. Thank you for joining us. I know it's quite early and you do have a very busy day ahead. So I want to ask you this. It was very important for you to travel to Edmonton for many reasons. Can you talk about that? Yes, uh, it's uh, an opportunity to represent uh, as a uh, Ontario parliamentarian, uh, but also uh, being uh, a First Nations person, but also a person that went to residential school that has experienced the, uh, the way uh, Indigenous people have been treated for hundreds of years. So it's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. But also it's a very, uh, you know, uh, conflicting uh, feeling as well. You know, should I be here? Should, survive, you know, survivors, uh, other survivors be here that, rather than me? But I think it's, uh, it's an opportunity for uh, the writing of QA to be represented uh, because, uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, the far northern First Nations in Ontario are sometimes uh, um, not heard. So uh, this will be uh, on the six-day uh, visit that the Pope will be here. Uh, the Pope will only be visiting one former residential school site. Um, of course, it would be... It would be good for him to, to travel to more areas, of course, but only the one. Uh, but within this visit here in Edmonton, or just outside of Edmonton, a, an apology is expected, and a number of people will be in attendance, yourself included. What will this apology mean for you? Um, I think we need a, um, an apology that is meaningful, that is expanded, uh, from the original one from the springtime. And it's important to, uh, as a first step forward. And uh, we have to understand as well, we are at varying levels of our, you know, of our healing. And uh, there are people that are still not, will not accept, a pop, accept an apology or even accept, welcome to visit. But I think it's important to know that, again, that's how, um, you know, trauma works. That's how uh, when we are in crisis, we are at varying levels. So because trauma and crisis has been become a way of life for Indigenous people because of the uh, intergenerational impacts of what has happened to Indigenous people across the country due to Indian residential schools. And it's really important to be able to uh, be here. And um, and I think uh, one of my goals for me, too, is, uh, you know, I, I, from where I come from in, in Kuwait, I was given this um, this uh, birch bark uh, uh, scroll that I, I'm, I'm to give to, uh, to the Pope, and I, I'm not sure if I will have that opportunity, opportunity, and it's written. I haven't opened it. I know the contents of it, and that, that is why I'm here, is to deliver that message to so, do you do you know much more about? I mean, I mean, this will be um, a very busy visit for the Pope as well. Have you received any word? Will you have any one-on-one -on -one time with him at all? I have. Uh, you know, I won't know until I get on a bus uh, uh, at 7:45 here in uh, Edmonton. Uh, there's a um, uh, a delegation from uh, the government of Canada that is here. I'm a, a part of that delegation. And I think uh, I will have that opportunity to find out. It's just, uh, it's just so busy. And I, I tried reaching out to the First Nations. Uh, you know, I like guess protocol for First Nations is to reach out to the First Nations as well, and that I'm going to be in their territory. So, I think it's really important that uh, uh, you know that uh, that apology happened on First Nations territory, and that apology it should be meaningful. And it's only the first step, and uh, we don't know what the if, what kind of apology it will be. We don't know um, what some of the actions mm. that will be attached to apology, and because actions are very important, like words don't mean anything anymore. Like I can say I'm sorry and 
not mean it. And I think uh, action is better than uh, uh, than words. So uh, we've run out of time, but you, I, I have to ask you this because the actions, um, you know, the, the apology from the Pope is one of the calls to action. What else would you like to see when it comes to action um, in in the next few years? I think uh, funding and a healing initiative for the survivors that have gone through the uh, the trauma that from the residential school is one piece, but also. Uh, um, to return the sacred items that's at the Vatican Museum, uh, but also, uh, um, and I think uh, we need to start talking about uh, the doctrine of discovery, and uh, we need to be able to have that discussion, but I don't expect them to uh, rescind that today, but we need to begin that discussion. It's, it's just such a, a colonial, you know, it, it didn't treat us as human beings, as indigenous people. Saul, I appreciate you taking the time with us today. I know um, this is a very significant day and you have a long day ahead of you. So thank you. Uh, please do stay in touch and we will speak again when you are back in Ontario. Appreciate it.